क्लास फाइव आई एम ओ सेट बी मैथमेटिकल रीजनिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन द गिवन टेबल शोस द नंबर ऑफ अडल्ट एंड चिल्ड्रन इन अ पार्क व्हाट फ्रैक्शन ऑफ टोटल पीपल इन द पार्क व चिल्ड्रन इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड व्हाट फ्रैक्शन ऑफ द टोटल पीपल इन द पार्क व चिल्ड्रन वी हैव टू फर्स्ट फाइंड द टोटल ऑफ द अडल्ट एंड चिल्ड्रन व्हिच इज इक्वल टू टू Fraction of total people in the park to children is equal to sixty by two hundred, which is equal to three by ten. Mathematical reasoning question number seventeen. Find the perimeter of the given figure not drawn to scale. In order to find the perimeter, we need to find the missing lengths. After finding the missing lengths, we have to add all the sides to find the perimeter. If we do that, we will get thirty six centimeter. Mathematical reasoning question number eighteen. Which of the following options shows the Roman numeral for the smallest four-digit even number that can be formed from the digits two zero one three using each digit only once? Smallest four-digit even number that can be formed using the digits is equal to one thousand thirty-two. Roman number for this is equal to M X X X one one. Mathematical reasoning question number nineteen. Which of the following figures does not have a line of symmetry p does not have a line of symmetry q does not have a line of symmetry r also does not have a line of symmetry but s has a line of symmetry but here they have asked which figure does not have line of symmetry we cannot mark c because s has a line of symmetry so the option is d p and q mathematical reasoning question number 20 select the incorrect option Fifth multiple of eight is more than thirty-five. The fifth multiple of eight is equal to forty, which is more than thirty-five. So that is true. B. The sum of the ninth multiple of eight and second multiple of five is eighty-two. The sum of the ninth multiple of eight and second multiple of five is equal to nine into eight plus two into five, which is equal to eighty-two. That is also true. Here they have asked which is the incorrect option, neither A nor B. Mathematical reasoning question number twenty one. Find the sum of place values of n cycle digit in the given number. Place value of four in the first number is equal to zero point four. Place value of one in the second number is equal to ten. Sum of the place values of n cycle digits in the given numbers is equal to ten point four. Mathematical reasoning question number twenty-two. The given bar graph shows the number of people who went to see a circus show in the given week. Study the given graph carefully and answer the following questions: How many less people visited on Tuesday and Wednesday together than on Monday and Thursday together? Number of people visited on Tuesday and Wednesday is equal to two thousand six hundred. Number of people visited on Monday and Thursday is equal to two thousand seven hundred. So, hundred less people visited on Tuesday and Wednesday together than on Monday and Thursday together. Mathematical reasoning question number twenty-three: If the cost of one ticket is one hundred twenty-five rupees, then how much total money earned from earned for the tickets sold on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday together? Number of tickets sold on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is equal to six thousand. Cost of one ticket is equal to one hundred and twenty-five. Therefore, cost of six thousand tickets is equal to seven lakh fifty thousand. Mathematical reasoning question number twenty-four. What type of angle formed by the hands of the clock as shown? This this angle forms a obtuse angle. Mathematical reasoning question number twenty-five. At eleven a.m., the temperature was thirty-two degrees. After one hour, it had gone up by seven degrees Celsius, and then after every one hour, it had gone down by three degrees Celsius. What was the temperature at two p.m.? Temperature at eleven a.m. is equal to thirty-two degrees Celsius. After one hour, that is twelve p.m., the temperature is equal to thirty-nine degrees Celsius. Then next hour. One uh, that is one p.m. is equal to thirty-six degrees Celsius, and then it had gone down every hour. So on two p.m. it would be thirty-three degrees Celsius.
Mathematical reasoning question number 26. How many of the following letters do not have a line of symmetry? Three letters do not have a line of symmetry. Mathematical reasoning question number 27. Which of the following option shows the expanded form of the number shown on the abacus? D option shows the expanded form. Mathematical reasoning question number 28. The HCF of 1650 and 140 is. Let's find HCF by division method. We can see that the HCF is 2. Mathematical reasoning question number 29. The length of the rectangle is twice its breadth. If the length of the rectangle is 50 cm, then find its area. Area of a rectangle is equal to L into B. Given L is equal to 2B and L is equal to 50 cm. 50 is equal to 2B. So, B is equal to 25 cm. Using this, we can find the area which is equal to 1250 square cm. Mathematical reasoning question number 30. What is the missing number in the box? We will do the reverse process to find the starting number. Using this, we can find out that 500 is the missing number. Mathematical reasoning question number 31. How many right angles are there in the given figure? There are four right angles in the given figure. Mathematical reasoning question number 32. Find the missing value. In this we have to follow the board mass rule. That is first we have to do the brackets and then we have to do the division. Doing that we will get the given answer. Then we have to add and then subtract. Doing that, we will get 0 0.075 which is equal to question mark into 1 by 4. So, using this, we can find the value of question mark. Bringing 1 by 4 that side, we will get 0 0.075 divided by 1 by 4. But, we cannot divide a fraction, so we should reciprocate. it. Doing that, we can get the answer as 0 0.3. Mathematical reasoning question number 30G. Compare and fill the box. As we can see, the second statement is greater than the first. Mathematical reasoning question number 34. If A plus A plus B is equal to 105 kg and A plus B plus B is equal to 90 kg, then find the total weight of A and B. Let A plus A plus B is equal to 105 kg. That is equation 1. A plus B plus B is equal to 90 kg. That is second equation. From equation 1, 2A is equal to 105 minus B. That is equation 3. In the second equation, A plus 2B is equal to 90 kg. Multiply the whole equation by 2. We get 2A plus 4B which is equal to 180. From equation 3, 2A is equal to 105 minus B. Substitute in the above equation, we will get 105 minus B plus 4B which is equal to 180. Using this, we can find the value of B which is equal to 25. Substitute B in equation 2, we can find the value of A that is 40. So, adding this, we will get 65 kg. Mathematical reasoning question number 35. Which of the following is the successor of the smallest 6 digit even number? The smallest 6 digit even number is 1 lakh. Successor of that is 1 lakh 1. That's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the like button and turn on post notifications so that you guys don't miss all the videos that I upload. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.